So in this video, we, are we will continue making our image recognition scavenger hunt. In the previous vote, uh, video, we are able to take hit the button take a photo, use the photo, and then see a description. So here it says a man wearing a helmet. So in this video, we want to look at the sentence here and see if there's a particular word we are looking for. So in this case, we're going to be looking for the word computer. And if the word is inside of the sentence, then we'll turn the screen green. So let's try this out. If I hit the button, I take a picture of my computer, I select use photo, uh, this gives me a photo of my computer, it says oh, an open laptop computer sitting on top of a keyboard, and since the word computer is here, it turned the screen green. So let's try to build this. So I'm going to live test the current app that we're working on, and go back to the blocks for us to get started. So I'm going to move these blocks away. Um, we're not going to need them right now. So to see whether or not a word is inside of a sentence, I'm going to use this contain block inside the text drawer. So does ABC contain B? And uh, to see what it outputs, we're going to get a set label text block. So um, here it says uh, set labels text to uh, does A contain B. So since B is inside of ABC, because there's B right there, uh, this will give me true. So if I hit the button on my device, uh, it'll actually say true. I could also test this on my computer by hitting the web preview button and then hitting this button here and we'll see it says true. So let's go back. Uh, so if I'm asking, does the phrase like laptop uh, computer uh, contain the word chair? Um, so the word chair is not inside of the phrase laptop computer. So if I hit the button on my device, it'll say false. Again, if I go to the web preview and hit the button here, it'll also say false. These things will show me the exact same thing. So now I want to say, if this is true, then I want my screen to turn green. So I can go to the control drawer, get an if block, and drag this contains block inside of the if. And I'm not going to need this set labels text block anymore, so I'll just get rid of it. So, and the last thing I want to do is change the background color of the screen to be green. So I'll go to the screens block drawer, go get this block, and then change the color from black to green. So when the button is clicked, if the phrase laptop computer contains the word chair, it will turn the screen green. So if I go to web preview, and hit the button, nothing happens. The reason nothing happens is because uh, the word chair is not inside of laptop computer. But if I change this to say computer, so the question is, does the phrase laptop computer contain the word computer? The answer is yes. So if I hit the button on my phone, we'll see the screen turns green. And if I go to web preview and hit the button, we'll see the screen also turns green. Great, so now let's put together what we've done in the last video with this one. So I'm going to re-add the blocks that we had from before. So when the button is clicked, we'll take a photo, we will get a description of that image and then make the text say that. But instead of uh, seeing does the phrase laptop computer contain the word computer, we'll see whether or not our labels text uh, contains the word computer. So I'll go back to label one's drawer, 
and grab the block for the labels text. So let's see how all of this works. I'll take a photo of my laptop again. I'll select to use the photo. And we can see that the picture of the laptop appears. It says an open laptop computer is sitting on my desk. And because the word computer is there, the screen turned green.